Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Well, my computer decided to uh, die again. It's just kind of like on and off. I'll get a new one Friday, so that's when everything will actually come back. Um, hopefully I'll be able to stream tomorrow and the next day. We'll see how that actually goes. As long as I can get my data out of the hard drive though, shouldn't be too bad for me. But anyways, I want to talk about Cardano and Polkadot a little bit because they're actually benefiting a lot from the inflows um, of people actually dropping out of Bitcoin and going into these two coins. Data analytics shows that a lot of the outflow of Bitcoin, well, not a lot, but some of the outflow into Bitcoin has been going into Cardano and Polkadot. They've been going into XLM, XRP, and LTC as well. I think uh, despite me thinking that Elon Musk's like, and Kevin O'Leary's green Bitcoin thing is BS, a lot of people did actually take their cue and they're actively looking for proof of stake coins um, specifically and some other coins to actually get out for more greener options. I don't really know why LTC is one of the options because it's proof of work too. Yes, it's more efficient than BTC, but yeah, that doesn't really make too much sense to me, actually. It doesn't make much sense to me at all that they're actually looking at LTC. But um, total, there's about $20 million that actually has inflowed into these five coins. Uh, Cardano is by far number one at 10 million receiving um, the like the green energy coins, shall we say. So Cardano is number one. Polkadot is number two at 5.5 million. So that already takes up about 15.5 million of the less than 20 million inflows uh, because of this green energy thing. Uh, number three, I think, is like LTC. I don't really know why LTC is number three, but people obviously are moving into LTC. I think that's received slightly less than 2 million. Uh, number four is XLM. I think that's like around 1 million. And like number five is XRP at around half a million. So Cardano is actually receiving some of the benefits. Yes, the price of Cardano is dropping um, with BTC. But the thing is, like, it's actually holding better than most other coins. And it's still above where it was about two or three weeks ago when it was at 140 something. And Bitcoin's still under 40,000. So at this point, when if Bitcoin goes back to 60,000, we should be able to expect prices of three or four dollars according to the rise. And I do think Cardano is going to rise throughout the summer. You know, like, realistically, the delays uh, right now don't seem to actually hurt the price. They just seem to get people to pump the coin up until, like, they actually release, you know, Gogan. And I'm not really sure when Gogan's actually going to be launched. There's test dates. They haven't really said anything like affirmative. I mean, like the whole smart contracts thing is going to be the last thing to, re to release. They're testing like the ERC-20 converter and everything else. But price-wise and profit-wise, it doesn't really seem to matter all that much Cardano. The coin is pumping over 75% of ADA is actually staked. That's probably helping uh, the whole like Cardano case. So hopefully that goes through and we're all good um, when it comes to ADA. So uh, that's what I have to say for right now. It is actually benefiting from some of the inflows out of proof of work into the greener proof of stake. So that's the information for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.